Hi, I'm JP. This will be my match preview of Wolves versus Arsenal. Um, our last time out, we lost 2-1 at home to, at the Emirates to Wolves. Um, that was back in November when we were going through a really bad, bad spell. Um, before Christmas, obviously. And then all of a sudden the Chelsea match comes around and all the fans in desperate need of a win and we won. Um, anyway, back to the Wolves. Um, yeah, we've lost um, one game this year and that was um, the FA Cup match in South, um, against Southampton. In the league, we're unbeaten this year. We're unbeaten um, even before Christmas, even um, before New Year, um, on Boxing Day when we won. Um, so eight games, six wins, two draws in the league. It's not bad game. Anyway, let's get into my predictive lineup. Now, gone for a couple of weird ones. Well, not weird. Um, you're hear me out. So, obviously, Leno. Need I say more? Um, better him because Tierney's out on. So Cedric's playing on the left hand side as opposed to the right. Um, holding Louise. Need I say more? Again, same as Leno. Both of them start. Um, not that Gabriel and Mary could do a job as well as Louise, but his performance against Man U was next to none. Um, really solid performance, and Holden's just been phenomenal. So, yeah, that's what I'm going for. Um, Partey needs to have a good match. Um, didn't play that play that great, but yeah. Put, putting him putting him back in because he needs minutes. That's all he needs. He needs to acclimatise to the Premiership, and once he does, he's going to be one hell of a player. Alongside him, Jacker, hundred percent. No, everyone slags him off. I don't know why. Yeah, the guys picked up a few silly red cards. So did Burkamp. I'm not saying no. I'm not saying. Shaka is like Burkamp. No way near the quality of Burkamp. But he still had that recklessness to him. So did Ian Wright. Vieira, all of them picked up like silly red cards and cost us a couple of matches. But look at their performances. Um I shared um I shared a stat stat with Shaka. He's had um, most possession gained um, in the last six matches we've played. Um, and that's both teams. That's like not just our 11, that's everyone's 11. Most possession gained. Come on, like you can see he's fighting. You can see he's like, willing to play for the badge again. Yeah, I, I think Jack is playing really well. Um, some of the last ditch tackles he's made, phenomenal. So he starts for me every time. Sabias might be fit. I think he, I think he's still got a knock, same as Pablo. Uh, but yeah, Chaka still starts. Okay, attacking Pepe on the right hand side. Um. Leaving Saka on the bench for today, just because he's just had a hip injury. That's what it was. It was apparently a hip injury that kept him out on the new match. And yeah, I think leave him on the bench. If need be, bring him on. But yeah, Pepe starts for me. He was playing phenomenally as well. Last two, last two matches. He's played really, really well. So, there you go. Um, centrally, I'm taking out Smith-Rowe. Um, I'm giving him a complete rest for, t 
for today. He could be on the bench. I I won't mind that. But yeah, Odegaard starts, gets his starting debut, and let's see what he can do. If it's not going well, or or he looks rusty, we bring on Smith Rowe. But give him a half at least. See if we can bend it, bend, bend him in quickly, because he looks good in the ten minutes we saw of him. Right. On the uh, left-hand side, I will put Martinelli. I know Aubameyang has been seen in training. And yes, he's back. But he's still gone through a lot. Like, still probably got it on his mind, like, with his mum sick and his family still not knowing what's going on or anything. So, put him on the bench. Break him in a little bit gently. Right, knows our captain, knows on, on on high wages, but he's still human. He's still human, and these things do affect him. Like they affect, they affect all of us. Like your mum's sick. I like, don't know how sick, but she was in hospital. Like, have a heart. Saw some saw some comments saying um saying saying that oh Abamian's in a fortnight competition. He's not 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 allowed to play. Come on, please just have a heart. What's the matter with people? Anyway, yeah. So Martinelli starts. Um, there might be a question for Willian. A little bit controversial, but yeah, I would say Martinelli over Willian. Um. I think Willian offers us a little bit more, and Wolves are depleted at the moment. Um, I think they're on the second to um, second. Um, what do you call it? Um, no team, barring Sheffield United, have had a worse losing streak than Wolves this year, this season. So yeah. They're depleted attack. And Odegaard, Pepe and Martinelli. And then our man Lacazette up front. It's a dangerous strike force. Um, and then we've also got Abamian, Pepe, not Pepe, um Abamian, uh Saka. And Smith Road to bring on if need be. That's a good bench. Don't care what anyone says. I think we'll win this quite comfortably. It's not going to be a walkover, but we get an extra goal and yeah. Get sorry, get an extra goal. Get the first goal and first goal, first half. That's what I'm predicting. And yeah, I reckon we'll walk away with this. So Anyway, I'm going to go. Take care. Like, subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, not YouTube. Um, follow, please. It helps. Take it easy. See you after the match.